What's up everybody, it's Dylan here with Debu Does Things. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's been a little while, so I wanna do a review on a brand new, unheard of jacket from Mountain Hardware. And that is the Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine Down Parka. Now, I already did a video on the Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Hooded Parka and the Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Hooded Jacket. This is an perfect in-between of those two products. The Phantom Down Hooded Jacket is a very lightweight, three ounce, 800 fill power down, sweater weight puffy. The Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Hooded Parka is a heavyweight belay parka for frigid, frigid conditions. The Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine Hooded Parka is a light to midweight down parka with a fully stitched through construction that weighs in right at 500 grams. So that's about 17 ounces or so. It has a fully stitched through baffle design, making it really, really lightweight and super duper packable. This jacket fits a very, very good niche. It is, it is a belay parka. It has a full two zip construction. It also has a belay button at the bottom for full climbing and belaying capabilities, which is really sweet. It is cut to layer. I'm five foot seven, about 170 pounds. I have a 40 inch chest, 32 inch waist, about 21 inches pit to pit, and um, about a 17 inch torso when measured um, for, for backpacks, um, and about 32 inches, uh, 32 inch arms. And this thing is actually layered on over the Mountain Hardware Phantom Down Hooded Jacket. And it layers very, very well. And I have to say, down here in my basement, I am really burning up. Um, but just looking at this jacket and feeling it and moving in it, I feel absolutely zero constriction. I, I'm pretty broad in the shoulders for my height. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a washed up hockey player, amateur skier, as I like to say. It, I, I don't have any constriction in my shoulders, which I usually do. And that's a really good thing. This thing fits and layers so well. So talking a little bit more about the features, um, it has two hand warmer pockets with the down on the outside. Um, it does not have any down on the inside, but I always like the down on the outside. That's great for keeping your hands warm. You just want to make sure that your pockets are zippered up um, for maximum heat retention. In the pockets, it has waist cinches that also double as a little um, key hook attachment. It has the little, uh, little hook loop here, which is a really nice and thoughtful feature. I'm really impressed with Mountain Hardware for, for putting this together because it, it's, it's really functional and it combines multiple things into one, which is always a great weight savings. And that is located in the pocket. So it's a, the waist cinches are actually located in both pockets. Opening the jacket up, you have your release right here. It's a little pinch lock release right down by the zipper. So it, it, it's, it's, it keeps, all, all the hardware kind of in the same area, uh, but not to the point where it, it all bunches together and creates um, too much bulk in that isolated area. For pockets, it also has an internal zippered chest pocket, which is located behind the down insulation. Great for keeping batteries and cell phones and headlamps warm. It also has a really baller uh, Lycra stretch dump pocket on the right side here um, and has, I just, I always love the Pertex tags in here, um, but it looks really nice. It feels really nice. And um, this will fit easily a large pair of gloves, an Nalgene water bottle, or um, like a one liter, um, you know, Cnog or, or, or Platypus flexible pouch bottle for, for when it's really cold out and you're, you're moving and trying to keep your water warm. Talking a little bit more about the fit The scuba style hood is really, really nice. 
the neck insulation is really, really robust. Um, right at the hood seam, it, it is fully stitched through, which is pretty common on jackets. Um, I would like to see um, a little bit more insulation around the neck. One thing that's different about this parka versus the Mountain Hardware um, hooded Phantom Belay parka is um, the, the, the big, big Phantom has a separate neck baffle in here, which I found really, really made, this, uh, made that jacket incredibly warm for its weight. Adding a neck baffle is so huge for increasing the warmth of the jacket or, the, in, even, or even the perceived warmth of it because you lose a lot of heat around this part of your body and to not have it insulated is almost wasteful in my opinion. I think it's worth the added weight to put an ounce of or even half an ounce of, of Pertex and, and down back there. But this parka is really not made for those extreme cold conditions. This is really made for those dry shoulder seasons and um, you know, kind of light winter use. This is definitely gonna go with me on ski tours where I can throw it over my mid layer or my, my shell. And I'm gonna try that on in a minute. So again, this jacket weighs in right at 500 grams. That's about 18 ounces. So it's a really, really good middle ground between a light down sweater like this and a heavy, heavy weight parka like the Mountain Harbor Nihilus here. Another thing that changed about this parka is the zippers. The Mountain Hardware Phantom big parka has this kind of Y-shaped zipper here that really helps keep things uh, smooth and separate, especially when you're wearing big gloves uh, in, the, in the deep cold winter time. And it also helps protect the large baffle behind the zipper. This jacket doesn't really have a large baffle, but it does have this, um, this seam or, or flap to keep uh, wind and spin drift out. The internal chest pocket does have a little hole coming out the top so you can run your headphones through there if you need to. And I did find, I did find this zipper to be a little bit finicky. Um, that is a one complaint I have. Um, I think if they made it a little bit more robust, I'd have more confidence in it. Um, I, I, I do question the longevity of this zipper just because it does feel like there's a lot of friction and pulling with it, and I, I do see that as being a potential fail point. With the, the main zipper pulls, you do have some, some line here with a plastic pull loop here that's, that's kind of a firm but kind of still pliable plastic. So that's, that's all good. And same thing with the zipper pocket, the hand warmer pockets over here. So yeah, let's, let's check out the fit one more time and then we'll try layering it over a shell. Yeah, again, the zipper does get caught a little bit. I'm hoping that this jacket goes under a little bit more product refinement and development just for, for something like that. Um, one thing I really like about this jacket is the cuffs. It's a nice lycra stretch, almost kind of jersey cuff, but um, if you look here, it has a really nice, um, that V shape, which is kind of, uh, becoming popular on, on later models of, of jackets and things like that. And that just allows a really nice, comfortable closure around the wrist and it really traps in the heat. As far as down fill goes, I have no information about this jacket, but if I had to guess, I would guess it's anywhere between 125 grams and maybe even 175 grams of down fill. So I'm thinking probably in the five to six ounce range, maybe even six and a half ounces. Um, yeah, you know, I'd say, I could say with reasonable confidence that there's probably 150 grams of, of down fill in this, which I think would put it right at around six ounces. So I'm gonna throw on the Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine down parka on over my Patagonia Nano Air size medium. 
in my Arcteryx Alpha FL size medium. If I didn't mention before, the Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine down parka is also a size medium, but it, it runs really large. Unlike the Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded jacket, the sweater weight down, this thing is made for layering. So it's, it's meant for trips where you're already gonna have a mid layer with you and a shell. And it's meant to go on over all of those. So I see this really as being an excellent ski touring jacket and really a ski mountaineering jacket because it has that belay button, that's fantastic. And the fact that it has the stitch through design it's not gonna make it the absolute warmest jacket in the world, but this is really gonna have a sweet spot in like Utah and Colorado where the weather is really dry, but also somewhat mild. So you can just throw this on for transitions and it's also just gonna disappear into your pack. So again, I'm wearing this on top of, so my base layer is a Patagonia Capilene Cool Daily um, over that is my Patagonia Nano Air size medium. Over that's my Arcteryx Alpha FL, and then the Phantom Alpine. The hood's really big. Um, the, Ar the Arcteryx shell has a really, really big hood with a brim, and you know that's to fit over a helmet. The Phantom Alpine does have a wire stiffen brim here. It's not quite as big as the Arcteryx hood is, but that's fine, it doesn't really need to be. But it's, it's absolutely large enough to not be compressing any of the down trying to squeeze over this hood. So the hood sizing is great, the torso sizing is really good, and the sleeves are, are fantastic. I don't feel any compression at all. With the Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded parka, the heavy one, the chest is, is nice and voluminous, but the sleeves are really tight. So if I had the same layering setup, I would feel a lot more constriction in the sleeves. I don't feel any with this. So this is really refined size wise, and it's really purpose built and really thoughtfully designed for ski touring and throwing on over a mid layer and a shell. So overall, the Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine is brand new. I haven't found anything on the internet about it. I wanna give a huge shout out to Patrick Manzer from Mindful Outdoor Sales in Kennebunk, Maine for providing me with this jacket. I met him at Eastern Mountain Sports in South Burlington, Vermont for their grand opening day. And he and I just got to talking and I you know, brought up that I really love the Nihilus Parka and the Phantom line of products. And um, he decided that he wanted me to try this jacket out and it is really, really cool and I, when, when I saw, you know, I, I said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm actually really looking to get my hands on another Phantom Parka because I sold my other one because it was too big. I got the large and it just happened to be too large. Um, I told him, hey, I've really been looking for a Mountain Hardware Phantom Parka. And he said, okay, yeah, I'll see what I can do. And he sent me this. And when I got it, I was confused because I'd never heard of the Phantom Alpine Parka before. And I was like, oh no, did Mountain Hardware change the Phantom? But they didn't. This is, a, this is a new item within the Mountain Hardware Phantom range. I'm a, really a big fan of the Phantom line. Their sleeping bags are absolutely killer. Warmth to weight ratio, super good. Super lofty, super lightweight, very compressible. And Mountain Hardware has made a really good job of combining 800 fill down with uh, Pertex Quantum Diamond Fuse Ripstop, um, which is also what this is. I'm a big fan of the Pertex Quantum Diamond Fuse. It's really, really bomber. Um, it's really tough, really light and supple, um, but just, and, and blocks the wind really, really well. I'm a, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. So time will tell how this jacket fares but I'm really optimistic about it. If they could do a little bit of work on the zipper, if the zipper does feel chintzy. So I would love to see them replace this. Um, I think it's a YKK zipper. Yeah, it's a YKK. It might be like a number three or something. I would love to see them replace it with something a little bit different. Not necessarily a waterproof zipper because it's a down jacket. You don't, you're not gonna take this out in wet weather. Um, this is really, really an excellent jacket for dry, cool to cold conditions. 
I would say standalone, this piece would be really, really good down to about 20 degrees standing still, um, maybe down to zero for active use. But again, it's a really big cut. So as a medium, you know, it fits over all my other medium size garments. So I, I really think that this has a sweet spot in layering over a mid layer and a shell when you're ski touring. Um, or even just a shell when you're ski touring. Just throw it on over everything and you're gonna be toasty warm. I'm actually really sweaty right now. Yeah, it's, it's warm and it's great. And it fits over a sweater weight down jacket. So if you wanna carry two down pieces, which I don't necessarily recommend, I always like to have my mid layer be synthetic. But yeah, it's really cool. So again, thank you Patrick Manzer with Mindful Outdoor Sales in Kennebunk, Maine. He is the mountain hardware rep for this area. He also reps for XPED, uh, which makes some of my favorite uh, sleeping pads for extreme cold weather. Um, he also represents Helinox, and then another really, really beloved brand of mine is US Sherpa. They are a human-focused brand based out of Winooski, Vermont, that provides a livelihood for Nepali artisans in Nepal, handmaking every single thing that they sell. So I'm actually wearing their Nepali slippers right now. Um, these are, I call them Sherpa Crocs, um, but this is their logo right here, US Sherpa gear. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Yeah, US Sherpa gear. I'm really a huge fan of this brand. And um, I've been doing a little bit of work with them. So Angel Sherpa um, and, and Patrick Manzer have teamed up and they're, they're also doing some work with these. These are awesome. They last a long time, made out of wool and leather. So that's just a side note. US Sherpa, go check them out. But also go to mindfuloutdoorsales.com and learn what they're about. Learn what Patrick and his partner Dustin are doing and uh, give them a little bit of love and maybe, maybe they can uh, provide some value for your life as well and maybe you can work together. So, so that's it. That's the Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine down hooded parka as part of the Mountain Hardware Phantom line. I really hope they keep the Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded parka as well as this because both of these products fit a very unique role. I may, if I'm able to get my hands on another Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded parka, the big boy, um, I'll, I'll do another review and, and, and just compare all of these. The Mountain Hardware Phantom down hooded jacket, the sweater weight. This is really what the Ghost Whisperer should have been. I'm a huge fan. I think, I believe it is discontinued. You can still find it online. I see a bunch on eBay um, and sometimes on geartrade.com. So keep your eyes out for one of these. I really like them. Um, and yeah. So lastly, I just want to do a compression test in my six liter Osprey stuff sack. All right. So there you have it. The Mountain Hardware Phantom Alpine packs down really, really small. This is a 32 ounce takeout container, Chinese food takeout container. And um, this is my six liter Osprey stuff sack. It really takes up about three liters of space. So in any ski touring pack, that's gonna be real nice. If you have a 35 or a 40 liter ski pack, um, that's really good. If you have a smaller ski pack, it's even better. It's only gonna take up, um, you know, maybe 10% of your, your total volume. And that's really important so that you have more room for all your other things, crampons, ice axe, all your avalanche gear. Um, yeah. This will actually fit in a helmet as well. So if you pack your helmet in your ski pack, this could go right inside that and, and fit perfectly. So let's pull it out and throw it back on real quick and see how it lofts back up. Yeah, this is, this is a really cool piece of gear. I'm really excited to get my hands on it. And it looks really, really good. I love the aesthetics of it. I think this black color choice is really sharp. Um, you know, if you're wearing it around town, looks great. Uh, Mountain Hardware has done a really good job with their outward appearance, which I like. Um, other brands I can't say the same about, but Mountain Hardware is one of those brands that I don't mind wearing at the top of a mountain or on Church Street in Burlington, Vermont. It looks great both times. So 
Yeah, I do hope they come out with a high vis color like they did with the Nihilus and the, um, I think like the 2020, 2021 line of the Phantom parkas. Um, I think high vis colors are really, really important on the mountain for um, safety situations and being able to stay visible to your partners or rescue team. I think that's always valuable. So um, I hope that in addition to the black, they come out with something really brightly colored as well. This park aligns right up with the Montane Antifreeze. Um, this is the older version of the Antifreeze, the new Montane Antifreeze XT. I'm not quite sure what the current specs are, um, but this Montane Antifreeze actually has 210 grams of 750 fill power down. So while it has 210 grams of down, it is 750 fill power, um, which you need more down it's gonna be, that is more dense than the 800 fill power. Um, so I, I'd say that these are very comparable parkas. You can learn more about the Montane Antifreeze in my other Belay Parka videos. I'll put the link below. And um, yeah, I really like the Montane Antifreeze, but this Phantom Parka might replace it. It's just a little bit lighter than the Antifreeze and the, the baffles are larger on it. So we'll, we'll see how it stacks up. I'll, I'll do a longer term review uh, when the winter rolls around and I've been able to test it in proper Vermont weather. It's currently uh, June 14th, 2023. And I expect to see the Phantom Alpine Parka coming out for the 2023-2024 uh, winter season. So keep your ear to the ground, keep checking the Mountain Hardware website or better yet, Call Patrick Manzer at mindfuloutdoorsales.com. You can reach him at patrick at mindfuloutdoorsales.com or you can call him at 720-341-5206. I'm sure he'd love to talk to you and maybe he can provide a little bit more specs about this jacket. Again, Mountain Hardware, Phantom Alpine, Down Hooded Parka. Weighs in right at 500 grams. Awesome weight, awesome warmth, great loft. Um, it is stitched through, but this is a really, really good option for shoulder season, cool to cold weather belaying and ski touring. Hope it comes out soon and keep an eye out for it.